Hi, Robin with OxyDry. And today I'm uh, doing a commercial job. This is a um, office building. I've been doing it for a few years now. Um, I remember about 10 years ago or so I came by this building and um, uh, Rotostatic was here cleaning it. And, uh, and here I am a few years later. Now I'm doing it. Um, Rotostatic actually went out of business almost 10 years ago now, I guess. They, uh, I'm not sure exactly what happened. The guy had been around for here for quite a while, and then uh, I don't know if he had health issues and then retired or, or what exactly happened, but that was the end of him. Although somebody else did buy the business, uh, but they were never... Um, um, how do I say this? Um, they basically let the business falter and fail. And eventually the uh, franchise uh, took the, um, this operation back. I think they stopped paying their payments or something. I, I'm not sure exactly what happened, but they did have to, uh, they, sh they closed down the franchise. They went under another name and they, they've been um, virtually doing nothing ever since. They, uh, so, they, so they lost the franchise. Um, I heard from other people that um, they were just not, just weren't into it. I think um, a, a young guy, his father had bought the business for him, hoping he would, you know, turn it into something or whatever, and I guess his heart wasn't in it or whatever. Anyway, that's a, another story. Um, in history, <laughs> so here I am, a few years later, cleaning this carpet. This is probably about at least the fourth or fifth time cleaning it. I've got, uh, there's two floors. Um, this is a medical office building, two floors, and there's three sets of stairs. And today I'm obviously using my uh, Orbitec, which is uh, 12 or 13 years old now. It's continuing to, it's another year for the Orbitec. I actually did a commercial job the other day with it, and again, it's just working perfect. But uh, on this job, I actually switched out the original tufted pad driver, and I've got a Malish pad driver on there, and in case you haven't, I uh, don't know what that is, it's got, um, I don't know if you can see, it's got uh, just kind of like little points on it, and um, uh, it works fine, except it, it doesn't hold on to microfiber pads very well, you know, the the padded microfiber pads, like the with the um, scrub strip, it doesn't work well for those, it'll tend to throw them, it actually tends to throw the um, Iron Man as well, but it works really well with the um, Super Zorbs, which are made for the Orobot and the Vibe machine, works really well with that. Um, and um, you can see this pad, I've used it with the tufted pad driver, you can see it, it's, it's been kind of tearing at the um, threads, and that's what the tufted pad driver does, and that's part of the reason why I thought, I'm going to use the Mellish pad driver on here. It's a lot easier on these pads, um, and the two ways will work fine on this as well which is what I actually normally use when I'm using my Orbitec. But this carpet is pretty grubby, so I went for the um, little more um, aggressive extraction ability of the uh, Super Zorb, and I've got a few challenging stains to deal with. I've got one around the corner there, which we'll get to in a sec. We'll uh, drop her down. I think that'll work. Let's see what happens. So, we'll do this uh, lobby area. It's a Saturday. got to the building and the guy, the owner of the building, he uh, met me here, let me in and, and uh, gave me a key fob to get into this building. I'm actually doing this building and then there's another one just uh, down the road a little bit where I'm doing a hallway and a set of stairs as well, so that's what I'm doing today. But um, anyway, he uh, gave me the key fob and then he took off and 
and I was loading everything into the building, and then I closed the door, went up, and then realized I forgot something, went back to the van, grabbed it, came back to the door, and discovered the key fob wasn't working. So, of course, I called him up, and he came back, although someone, just before he got back, somebody did let me in. Come on, you can walk there, it's okay. There are still a few people coming and going. Most of the offices are actually closed today, but uh, there's a few other people that have been wandering through once in a while. The front door is actually locked, so I guess uh, maybe it's the actual office uh, people that are coming and going and doing things, working on a Saturday or whatever. Anyway, I did get the uh, back into the building and all straightened out. So, it's a good idea to, when someone gives it the key fob, I guess, uh, make sure it works. He thought it was working, but obviously it wasn't. Machines uh, really shine. Hello. Okay. Yep. Yep. Go ahead. Um, you know, the commercial carpet is where uh, I find that the uh, OP machines really uh, do work with great. As you know, I'm. Uh, if you're watching my videos, you know I'm. Uh, I'm more inclined to use the rotary for residential work anyway. But I do like my uh, Orbitech for these uh, big open jobs. This is an olefin commercial carpet. It's actually not in bad shape, really, considering that it gets a lot of a lot of traffic in here. They're only cleaning it about once a year. First time I cleaned it, it did not look good at all. I think they've been getting it steam cleaned and was not performing well as usual. <laughs> Should we go over this uh, this uh, traffic area right here a little bit more? Oh, someone's coming. told me that that big bad stain right up there was a coffee stain that's what he was told and he says he's been using a, some kind of a, a little spotting machine to try and get it out he's tried it a few times so now I did spray some proxy on there and it apparently has had no effect yet um, to me that doesn't actually quite look like a coffee stain but we'll see what happens when I when I go over it now I'm cleaning with um, Revive, and it does have uh, peroxide in it. As well as uh, citrus. Yeah, that looks pretty good, eh? Go over that again, nice and slow.
promising. I still see it a little bit. Still visible a little bit. So let's try something here. Yeah? side so I no, it's new no it's not acid it's um, neutral I think so let's see what happens here it is working yep it's working a little bit more uh, agitation and extraction, absorption, soil extraction transfer technology at work here, set methodology, and gone. Sorry. That's uh, okay. That was easy. Sometimes uh, there are simple solutions to what look like complicated problems. And uh, we face these challenges all the time when we're carpet cleaning. That's what keeps it interesting. But you can see. That stain is 100% gone. Let's see what happens. I've got about half a tank in there. I'm not going to make it all the way to the further point here that I'm heading for. Hmm. I will have to reposition, I think. Spine towel, net, and voila. Okay, we'll change the plug. Oh. 
right ahead of me there. Stain gum. Terribly exciting this job, eh? <laughs> One of the reasons I kind of prefer residential is more more interesting things happening. Usually. I dropped by the other day to just uh, take a uh, look at the carpet and um, met up with the owner and he showed me that because that was his greatest concern of course so and obviously I have uh, fixed that so there you go I'm uh, gonna let you go and we'll continue on over that direction and then I got three sets of stairs and then I move over to the other building and do a hallway and another flight of stairs. So anyway, thank you for watching and have a good day.